there's a number of species that we work with that there's not a lot of information known about their breeding and reproductive habits. The Russian legless lizard, or Shelta pusix, is one of those species. They're usually wild caught, imported into the U.S. as an AZA facility especially. We try to limit our wild collecting as much as possible. Shelta pusix have very, very rarely been bred in captivity and we were stoked to have one that actually was born here. We actually brought a pair in for an exhibit we were doing in 2016. And the exhibit was actually on snakes, um, ironically. But we wanted to highlight the Shelta Pusix to show the differences. People look at them and think it's a snake because they have no legs. It's a long cylindrical body. But legless lizards are very different from snakes. Snakes' jaws don't connect in the front. Lizard jaws actually do connect. They have eyelids. Snakes don't. And then legless lizards also have ears, like most other lizards. One of our herb keepers was able to work with these animals a bit more in holding. She developed a plan to cool the animals down or to brumate them in a refrigerator. She did temperature manipulation and she made some changes to humidity and went three or four months, I believe, in that cool down process before we slowly warmed them back up and then introduced the animals to each other. Almost immediately after introducing the animals together, we saw signs that breeding might potentially be successful. Sure enough, the female uh, did lay some eggs our very first year, so that was great. We were very, very excited for that. Those eggs were not fertile and we were not able to hatch anything. But then coming into this year, we did have a successful breeding cycle. One of the reptile keepers came trotting into my office. She was very, very excited and said, we have an egg, we have an egg. After a short period of time, we were able to determine that, that the egg was viable. Um, we could see some blood vessels and things developing. The day that the animal hatched, the relief keeper was working. She noticed the egg looked a little bit different and on closer inspection, she realized it was just the shell. The entire team came down here to the aquarium to see the new hatchling. They were, they were thrilled, they were very excited. We're really talking about culmination of years of hard work. Many, many facilities have attempted it. Some have had success, some um, not so much. It's, it's just a tricky species to work with. We're very proud of the fact and proud of our team. Every day they have the routine tasks, but then we have the chance to do things kind of above and beyond. It's great to really get a chance to work with them here and see that they're bred in captivity here and see our success and get to work with our successful little prodigy every day.